This is actually part two of our series here on why would you create a data warehouse, data mart, or reporting database? So it's another simple question that we get a lot again, is that, but why do companies do this? Why do you need it? Why do you want to consolidate data? And it's a pretty simple answer in the fact that, you know, you guys have data in multiple systems. There's data being created all over the organization, but that data, when you want to turn it into information, needs to be joined with other systems, right? You have data in a CRM, operational systems, maybe in your time entry systems, HR, your accounting systems. And really, to turn data into information, it needs to be joined or work together with other bits of information from another system. So, so generally, you want to get into this type of thing, which we discussed before, is that where we can apply business logic and use tools to consolidate and collate that data into a location that then can be used to support information needs from the company. So we're turning data into information. So the big things are why would you do this? Well, when you do not have a consolidated place to put your data, you have to do it yourself, which probably means you're doing it on your machine. When you're consolidating data manually, it's extremely time consuming. It's also very prone to error and it's not very efficient. So when you're doing data consolidation manually too, it leads to a lot of undocumented business rules and logic. Really, it's in the person's head that's doing it. So Bob downloads some data and he goes, oh, because of this code, I really have to switch it to this one. And then when I see this happen in the data, I do this to it and I do this to it and I do this to it. And so really what you're doing is you're having processes that aren't repeatable, that they're dependent on a person and their thought process and how they keep up with their things. So data is really hard to share when a person is responsible for consolidating it because you're really dependent on that one person and their knowledge and experience inside of that data. And frankly, more than likely, you guys are using Excel in some way, or you might be using it all the way. Lots of translations and business logic is really applied in Excel. But you really want to do the why is when the data is all together, it's faster and it's easier to produce new information. So we want to take data and make information out of it, something that the company or the organization or people inside the organization can use. Now here's the big thing about data and turning data into information. As data access and analyzation grows, as information is provided, more is requested. So as people start getting access to information, the requests and demands for more information start growing. It's an evolving process, but it scales and keeps growing and growing over a period of time. If you have a manual process where people are involved, where Excel is involved, where Bob is involved, it's not efficient, it's not going to grow, and it's not going to scale for the organization. So thank you for your time today. We'll be following along this video of when is a good time to start thinking about a reporting data uh, database or data warehouse or data mart as well. Thank you.